So I'm going to do a quick tour of our room. So as soon as you walk in, you have your closet. Light switch is over here. Sometimes it'll turn on automatically. So got some good space. Needed some extra hangers. They do give you some robes to use. There's a safe down there and a hair dryer. Ironing board is behind me. And this is the bathroom. Don't mind the little mess we're heading out right now. Good size shower. Water pressure comes and goes. Sink. Toilet over here. So we got the little bar area. Do have an espresso maker. I believe it's an espresso maker. Some hooks up there to hang some hats and lanyards, whatever you want. Ice bucket. Water. And here's, you got some sugar, sugar substitutes, teas, coffees, regular decaf. Don't have cups for you. And these drawers are just empty drawers that you can use for whatever. Basic uh, mini fridge. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. It's a king size bed. Lights on each side. Outlets on each side. It looks like there's USBs. I couldn't get them to work for some reason. I don't know why. Whatever. Big dresser drawers. Actually too big. Because you can you know fill it up so much, but alright. It's just probably too big. Huge TV. Probably say 50 inch. And it's a smart TV, so you got Netflix you can log into for your account, YouTube you can log into for your account. Um, make sure to log back out, otherwise it'll stay in there. So you can have a little dining area. This table does move in and out if you need it to. It's on wheels. It's not connected to anything, so you can move it all around. They have one chair, <laughs> then an ottoman, and then a little couch, which does pull out to another bed. And they have these tablets here as well, where you can request guest services if you need. Or you can request towels, um, soaps, coffee, whatever. Then the outside patio area. And we've made a little friend. There's been two of them hanging out on all the porches. Well, I mean, this porch and next door for a few days, just hanging out. So, this is the room. Beautiful room. Really impressed. Alright, so we're going to do a little bit of a tour of the Playa Largo Resort. And just check out everything. Uh, and show you around. So for starters, you're going to head up here. And sometimes they have uh, somebody working this area. And all of this is valet parking. And down there is general parking. So we're going to head up to the lobby. And if you need, they do have luggage carts available. And you can get those up here. You can bring them to your car, load it up, go to your room, and bring them back. And we're walking right into the main lobby area. To the left is the uh, guest services desk. Over here we have just a little lounge area. And I'll shoot over this way real quick. Love these chairs. These are awesome. And right this way is a little store. Not a big one. You can get some coffees here and pastries. Drinks. What do we got here? This is a kid's play zone, which I believe is closed. And we are on, uh, on the second floor right now. 
if you get to the first floor, you can take the elevator, which is right here, which as soon as you get out of that elevator will be the, I've seen a vending machine and laundry area. And I think there's laundry in each tower. And this is the tower we're staying in. So here's guest services. Let's walk out here for a second, then we'll come back. There's more lounge areas, seating all over. You have a beautiful pool area. And then the ocean in the back. Now the spots around the pool do fill up really early with towels. Even though people may not be sitting at them, there will be very limited seats. But I've tend to notice that underneath the overhangs, especially right there, those tend to usually always be empty. It's a beautiful pool. It's heated at 76 degrees. Plus it's hotter out, then it'll get a little bit hotter than that. But again, this is just area, come sit, relax, hang out in, right off the lobby. And to get downstairs, you can go down the stairs down on that side there, which will bring you right to the pool area. And the beach is just right behind that, and we'll get down there shortly. So let's head back inside. A lot of seating areas everywhere you go you have a new chair new seating area and now we're coming up to Los Olas which is ceviche and sushi a nice little hangout area and this is open I think later on and that's right off the lobby area so now Let's head outside. You also have another business center right over here to your left where you can use um, you know, desk area, whatnot. All right. So, now we are down on the first floor. Playa Kids, which is currently closed. This is the kids' hangout area. La Marea, which we'll show you outside in a second. It's one of their dining restaurants, breakfast, and I believe lunch and dinner they have. And we've come for dinner, which wasn't a big fan of. Service, lacking. Um, they charge you automatically 20% any food and beverage at the resort, so just keep that in mind. Staff isn't really gonna work too hard for that 20% since they already got it. So down here is a spa, which is open right now. And next to that is the fitness center. So we're gonna head outside right now. So this is La Marea. And then we're gonna head over this way. A little courtyard area that they got where you could do these giant chess pieces. So if you know how to play chess, you could do that or play checkers. And on this side is the main pool. So we have the courtyard area over here. We're gonna head into the pool. This is just another tower that you can stay in. All right. And they do have like these sanitizing areas here and there throughout the resort. Not a ton, but they do have them. As you can tell, it's a beautiful day. So if you need towels, right to the right over here, you can get those towels. We're just gonna loop around the pool real quick. 
It's a beautiful day out. It's actually one of the warmest days we've had so far. And the cabanas are available for you to rent if you choose to do so. Beautiful pool. And again, these chairs fill up super quick in the morning. We'll be out here as soon as the sun is up. People are already putting their towels down. Here's a look at the cabanas. You do get a TV as well. And over on this side is the sandbar, which they have drinks, um, small food, bites. Pretty good food. Pretty crappy service. So right down over to the left gate right here. There's also bathrooms right here just in case you need them. This way is to that main house next door and I believe the bungalows that they have here. And you can also access the beach, which is all down here. And these chairs also fill up on the beach pretty quickly. And you could walk right into the water versus a traditional beach where it just zero entry but it's so nice and it's just a couple feet deep it's not too deep at all which is really nice um so yeah that's the beach area more seating over here at the sandbar and you kind of have to be in their face almost just to get some decent service i've felt wanted something to eat i go up to the bar order it Need something to drink, just go get it. It's a pain, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna loop back this way. And again, this is, they have one main pool. The other pool's for the other area, but this is the main pool for everybody. Also got a hot tub here. Not a big hot tub, but fit about 10 people or so in there and they have several fire pits one actually being on the side all the way down there and then a fire pit down here and I believe there's a couple other like stove looking fire pits that they have around I mean look at this view it's amazing And again, the pool or the pool towel is right over here. So we're gonna head out this gate. We got some ocean front view, or not ocean, um, yeah, water side, beach side, whatever you want to call it. Rooms here. These chairs are awesome to lay in and relax. And got more beach area on this side. Tons of beach area, which is good. You got a little gazebo area, which I'll bring you. I'll bring you in a minute. But first is Soul by the Sea, which is another restaurant we ate at twice. First time service, eh, not too good. Food was good, pretty good. Last night we came, we got a seafood mac and cheese, which was really good. I felt it was more like an Alfredo than a traditional mac and cheese, which I don't care either way, it was really good. And then the, um, wasabi burger they have here Whew. boy was that delicious and again you have so much different types of seating here it's crazy like we're big on just like relaxing somewhere not doing anything crazy and just sitting back and enjoying people watching almost and they have like a chair for every type of chair that you want i guess i don't know the right words to say but they have all these different seating areas like you have the hammocks over there, beach chairs, um, these type of andorotic chairs, regular chairs. You have rocking chairs in the gazebo. And this is just this area. All throughout the resort, you have so much different seating areas. It's 
So it's really cool. I'm coming up to the water sports area down this section. And this is like a third party of theirs, Caribbean Water Sports. So if you want to check out their site, you have a lot of seating area in here, which is really nice. And then you have the dock, which you can come out here anytime, see if you can see anything. We saw some dolphins out towards this way a few days ago. We heard somebody said that there's a couple manatees walking, or, yeah, walking, a couple manatees um, swimming underneath this dock here. So that's pretty cool. And you can see straight down to the bottom. It's beautiful. See some fish right here. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day today. And I don't know. They do have a boat launch here. I don't know if that's just for their use or if you bring your own trailer, which I didn't see any trailers in the parking lot, like for jet skis, like personal ones or anything like that. So if you're thinking about that, you can go ahead and call and see if they will let you use that. I don't know, but there is a boat launch here. And they do, again, this is Caribbean water sports, so they have their own stuff going on. You know, some excursions and whatnot. Uh, it's beautiful today. Saw some crab in here the other morning. But you never know what you're going to see in here. just beautiful out so we're gonna head back this way that's soul by the sea up there nice restaurant great views especially after sunset and come up to a couple more areas back down that way towards the main pool this resort's not huge but it's a beautiful resort. This is Soul by the Sea. Right up in there. We got this little gazebo section and this courtyard area, which first day we came, they had a big wedding going on. It was nice. Or you can choose to sit right here and look at paradise. I mean, seriously, how beautiful is that? I'll just sit here for a second so you guys can check out the beautiful view. All right. Heading down now. I'm going to go towards the parking lot area. I mean, if I could change anything about this resort, it's definitely the service. Customer service, excellent. Um, just general people throughout the resort, the workers, great. It's just a restaurant service could be a lot better. They're not attentive really at all, especially by the pool. I mean, the other night we were sitting there and just ordered chicken wings and french fries it took them about 40 minutes people were waiting on ordering food i mean they were literally the workers just sitting there chit-chatting like no sense of urgency because again they're getting 20 percent, so they don't really care they don't really have to work for it and what is this club player largo which i can't get in that building i already tried that might be one of the exclusive member lounges or something so i know they used to have a tennis court back here which is now a parking lot and i've seen that throughout the keys a lot but they do have a sports cart here so i think you can go to the front desk get basketballs um tennis rackets whatnot Is this bocce ball? I'm not sure. 
think it is. I don't know. But yeah. Full size basketball court. And the hoops are two different heights. Not sure if that makes much difference to anybody, but pointing that out. And this is all the parking lot. Parking, I mean, at times there's a bit more spots than other times. Generally, nobody's really parking like a bunch of a-holes, which is nice. Just gonna come this way now. And this is usually where we're coming in and out of the resort, just to the parking lot. Just a little courtyard area. And I'll show you where this goes to. And over that way, it's to the courtyard with the um, gazebo. And over here is just to the other courtyard with the chess pieces. So yeah, make sure to check out the rest of our videos from this trip, along with other trips. And if you like them, give them a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you keep contact with what we're doing with the latest videos of all the different things that we do. So until next time, bye.